I used to be a poet. I used to love making music. I used to write all the time. I've created some masterpieces before. Poems with definite structures. Words with deep meanings. Phrases full of thoughts. I never release them. They're just all locked up on my broken iPhone 6. I don't dare to fix it. I'm afraid to see the past. I used to be a dreamer. I tried multiple hobbies just so I could be someone. Someone that everyone would adore. Someone that everybody would be proud of. Someone who I can be proud of. It's funny. I never liked myself. I mean, people aren't always contented with who they are. That's why we live. To be someone. To be something before we are five feet deep into a pit. With everyone who says they love you, cry for you, yearn for you, misses you, at the end of our time, when everything is too late, that's when they start to feel something. I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I like to call myself Psycho. It's a stupid nickname, I know. But I don't have anything else I can call myself other than that. I don't have a real name. I like to think of my real name to be dead. That she's long gone. I killed her a long time ago. We all love change. Might be wondering why you're here. Listening to me with all this useless information. It's not necessary for you to listen. But you're here anyway. I don't even know why you're here. You're just a voice in my head that I like to talk to. I like to imagine you're a real person. Sitting on the couch. Right in front of me. With a cigarette in your left hand. And a coffee in your right. You like to listen to me. You never talk unless I tell you to. It's sad. I can't talk to anybody else about what I'm thinking. I'm not lonely. I have a lot of friends. I just like to talk to you because you're not real. You can't judge me. And even if you do, it's fine by me. <gasps> Shit, I'm late for class. The majority of my day starts with music and coffee. I'm never late. I like to think that I'm going to be late so I can move more quickly. I always wake up three hours before my first class. The first hour would be me staring at my laptop screen with coffee on the side. The second hour is 15 minutes of showering and 15 minutes of preparing. The other 30 minutes is just me talking to you again. Like what I'm doing right now. The third hour is where I go. I use a motorcycle to go to school. I like driving. It makes me feel free. Anything can happen to you at any given moment. I could get hit by a truck and all of this would be over in a second. But it doesn't happen. Because I drive carefully. It's odd to think that every time we do something normal, we think of the worst things possible. But our actions are much weirder. It's doing its best for you to be safe even if you want to die. 
I don't want to die. I'm not one of those students that once they arrive at their campus, they immediately go to class and wait for their teacher to come in. My life isn't complete without buying another coffee and taking a smoke before entering school. Once again, at these moments of my life, I like to talk to you. But only in my head. I can't let the people around me think I'm crazy. These moments are rare. I'm usually with some of my friends before going inside. It depends on my mood. But today, I like to be alone. That's why they're not here. I'm afraid I'll see them in school. I always put up a facade or a fake personality when I'm with them. The person that they see is not the real me. I don't want to show them the real me. The real me is complicated. The real me just fucks up everything. As I look into my cell phone, I realize I only have 10 minutes to go to class before I'm announced as late. In my calculations, I'll be right on time. I walk from the parking lot to school in just exactly 3 minutes. 2 minutes including the line at the gate to confirm you don't have anything in your bag. Like a vape or a cigarette. Which I have one right now. I hide them in my pockets. They never really check girls' pockets. Unless you're a boy, then they'll be grabbing your balls like you're hiding a firearm or drugs. It's a stupid system. I have exactly five more minutes to walk through the classroom. I just hope nobody greets me. I hate people faking that they're interested in me. Well, I stand corrected. As I go up to the second floor where my first class is, I'm greeted by my friends smiling at me as if they missed me. I don't miss them, but I like to put up a smile pretending that I do. I'm such a fucking prick. The teacher arrived two minutes late. I can't wait to pretend that I'm listening for the next hour. I hate school. I only love going out from home. Home isn't home anymore. It's just a house. The teacher is talking. I may need to stop talking to you. Despite how I hate everything inside this classroom, I still need to pass. I'll be talking to you again once the class is over. These people are insane. The system is insane. After that first class, I have a three hour vacant time. What the fuck am I going to do for three hours? Oh, that's right. Despite how I may sound dead to you, it's very different in real life. I like to live. A little. So? In this 3 hour vacant time, I like to go and play billiards. The distance from school and to where I play is exactly 2.5 kilometers away. If I go now, I could arrive there in 15 minutes, depending on traffic, and play for 2 hours until I get back from my next class. But I don't want to go there alone. That's why I call some of my friends to go there with me. I like to force them to go with me even though they don't play that well. My ego is always present when I see them play. I always think I'm better than them. Which is true. I've been playing billiards for 6 years. And within those 6 years, I'm actually shit. But I can't say that to them. My ego would be crushed. My passion for this game is just small as an atom now. I don't usually play all the time. 
but when I do, I hate it. If you've been playing for six years the same as I do, you'll get sick of it. It's not fun anymore. But I like to win. I only play billiards to feed my ego. This is the only thing I'm good at and I like to see people lose just because of me. It may sound arrogant, narcissistic, or that I have a superiority complex, but I can't self-diagnose. After smoking my lungs away while playing billiards, it's now time for my next class. I only have two classes today. This is how college works. The next day you're free as a bird with all these vacant times, and after that your schedule is packed with only 30 minutes of free time. Tiring yourself out. The only thing you want to do once you arrive home is to sleep. And do the shame shit again the next day. My last class was boring. I fed my ego so much that the whole time I was sitting there, I was flaming. My mind was full of phrases like, I'm better than this teacher. My seatmate is a nerd. I hate my friends, I don't deserve them. I have a better life than half of these students. I bet they all feel shittier than me. I'm a fucking asshole. I shouldn't be saying those things, but I can't control it. It's all good because I don't say it in front of them, I say it to you. I'm happy that you're always there listening to me. I always think of the worst, and trust me, all of those mean words I thought of them in class, it's much crueler when I'm the subject. I'm the worst version of myself right now. <sighs> I need to go home. I can't handle talking to you in my head anymore. I need to see you. See you right in front of me. With a cigarette in your left hand and a coffee in the right. <sighs> I'm tired of the real world right now. I need to see you.